How do you see it playing out with uh, with Manny Machado, though? That's definitely going to happen, correct? Well, it it should. Um, the Orioles know right now they're in the middle of a lost season, and I, I, there's, there's probably no more interesting name leading up to the deadline than Manny. We'll, we're going to spend the next five, six weeks talking about him nonstop. I know that. But, you know, the Orioles move really slowly, very deliberately. And, you know, there's some question in the minds of teams that have talked to them, who really has the final call on what happens with Manny? And so, so that could cause some issues as they head for the deadline. And another thing to watch is, you know, Manny wanted to play shortstop this year. But, you know, teams that have talked to the Orioles are saying that they're willing to trade him to somebody that will play him at third base. He might not be happy about that, but it, it obviously widens their field as they try to stoke some kind of bidding war. And th- there could be a lot of plot lines running through the Manny Machado stuff, so stay tuned. And then there's the All-Star game obviously coming up next month. Uh, do you think Bryce Harper's – future will be front and center what's going to be the main storyline we go to washington dc for for the all-star game you know rich bryce has been trying to, to shut down that talk he sure has ever, ever since day one of spring training i i don't know how easy it'll be for him to do that in that setting um he and Batty bachata are going to be the marquee free agents just because of name and star power and they're there, that that's going to come up, and he, neither one of them can really stop it. Um, I'm sure they won't be comfortable with it. <laughs> but when we get to the All Star Game, uh, it's people like us who get to determine, you know, what the storylines yeah. are uh, until they actually start playing. So uh, I'll be interested to see how they answer those questions. Um, Bryce has had such an odd year. Uh, I'm I'm not worried about him getting paid. Like he's 25 years old, but was he going to get paid 400, 500, 600 million? Um, based on the way he's swinging the bat right now, good luck on that. Yeah, I know he's in a deep slump and a slump and funk. But when it all comes down to it, I mean, he, Washington can't just let him walk for nothing. So, where do you think it's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen with him? They're, well, they're not going to trade him. Um, they're going to try to win the World Series with him. They're they're built to win. And I, you know, you, you just saw them go out and trade for Kelvin Herrera um, in the name of winning. This is the most important year in the history of their franchise since they got to DC, and they're going to ride it out with Bryce. They'll offer him the qualifying offer. I, I don't know that anybody expects that when this dust settles and the, uh, you know, they, they, somebody signs on the dotted line that he'll wind up back in Washington, but. Their plan has always been to try to win with them. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.